In this video, we'll be doing a quick review of the Xtool DAS. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we got the Xtool DAS here, and this is going to be a quick review of this scan tool here. And if you guys want to see this live in action, make sure you guys check out the full review. And if you want to know what's included, check out the unboxing. And the full review is over 30 minutes long. So I'm going to try to make this a little shorter. And I'm going to go over the features of this and give you guys a quick summary of it. And if you guys want to know how this scored in comparison to other scan tools, on the full review, I'll even give it a random fix tool grade so you guys can decide for yourself. So the X2 D8S is going to be the updated version of the D8 that came out a few years ago. And I really like what they've done here because we get a new interface that's a lot easier to go through. And the tablet has some updates itself. It still has the same 8-inch display. We have a 10,000 milliamp battery. But the battery is not really a factor as when the scan tool is connected to the vehicle using the OB2 port, this will get charged. And this is going to be a wired connection. This does not have a VCI. So you are going to stay with the wired connection, which I actually kind of prefer sometimes. And also we're getting double the RAM of the old unit in here. So we have four gigs of RAM and there's plenty of storage on board here. I've installed all the updates. I still have over 43% storage available for future updates. And this interface is very easy to learn. If you swipe down, you can retrieve the menu here for the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, screen recorder. And you can also do a lot of these shortcuts on the very bottom here. So if you want to take a screenshot, you can tap that. And if you want to launch a diagnostic feature, you can go ahead and click here or there. Let's go ahead and launch that. And if I didn't mention it yet, this does have a camera. So you do have a camera on here. And the camera is able to also do video and it focuses pretty fast. And with the main interface here for Xtools, we have an auto scan function. This will go ahead and decode the VIN automatically. It will also allow you to access the OBD2 part of the scan tool. You can view live data, you can read codes, you can erase codes. And this is a bi-directional scanner. So you can send information to the vehicle to activate certain components and you can use it to make keys. It does a lot of nice things that would normally cost you thousands of dollars if you took it down to a dealer or a shop to do. And the scan tool supports American cars, Asian cars, European cars, and Chinese cars, as well as some EVs. We have a special functions button over here, and the special functions will allow you to go and do a total of 38 specialized functions. And here's a quick preview of them. And just because you see it listed here doesn't mean it applies towards your vehicle. So the best advice I can give you is if you're really interested in this, go ahead and contact support. And this is going to be their email address. And I'll leave you guys that in the video link down below as well. We have reports. Updates are very easy. And speaking of updates, this comes with three years of updates included. After the three years expires and you don't renew, you can still use the scan tool here for the diagnostic functions. You just will not get any more updates. This is the way I understand it. We have a more section and the more will allow you to go and add an endoscope here. So it has a USB cable up top right here where you can add that. And one thing that you'll find out on the full video is how much I love the kickstand here because this will allow you to put it over a steering wheel. So it does have the kickstand in the back. This is that camera that we spoke about and it's got a nice rugged feel. You have a remote function. So if you want to go and access this scan tool from the comfort of your home office, you could connect this to the vehicle. And as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can control this from a different location. And maybe you can share this with somebody if you're running into a problem. We have settings and in settings, we can go through change languages, units. There's a USB mode on here. And lastly, we have an Xtool icon, and this will launch their web page. And if you notice up here, we do have the battery gauge here. And this battery does last a very long time. It's got that 10,000 milliamp battery that we spoke about earlier. 
and honestly the battery has not been a concern for me as it's always getting charged other than that if you guys want to check out the full video i'll leave you guys that link and also leave you guys a direct product link if you guys want to go and learn more about this and one other thing i did want to mention is if you're working on some of the newer vehicles like the gms bmws volvos some of those vehicles have doip and cam fd support and this particular scan tool does support can fd and doip high speed data networks so if that's something that you're interested in take a look at it i use this on my 2014 dodge and i had really good success with it i would love for you guys to check out that video before you guys hit the buy down button and if you have any comments or questions please don't hesitate to leave them down below and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the video was helpful if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as well as hitting that thumbs up button it does really let youtube know that i bring you guys valuable content make it a great day and you'll find those links at the end of the video here thanks again